Hey guys, Dieter Melhorn here. Going to give you a quick tour of where I'm staying at out here when I fish in Tennessee, uh, Eastern Tennessee, around Lenore City, Fort Loudon, Watch Bar, that area. This is the uh, place that uh, behind me, bum bum, the big reveal that uh, Bo Rice has. He's a guide out here and uh, he's got a cabin. He's got a place here with some bedrooms, a kitchen, big room uh, to hang out. You can pull out here and you can do a guide trip with him. Uh, fishingwithbow.com is the website and uh, I'll put a link in the description below uh, that I'll, you can click on and come here or if you got a boat and you fish out want to fish out here it's a great place it's off the road you can see it's kind of secluded back here in the woods and uh, you can come out here this is where I stay at uh, room to park the boat clean your fish all that kind of stuff you don't have to unload everything like you do in a hotel that's always a pain in the butt when you go somewhere Having room to park, get in and out, all that kind of stuff. So it's a cool place. Uh, we'll take a look inside. Got a nice little porch. My favorite part, a grill to cook some vittles on. I'm inside. There's Grayson, sharking on the pool table. Nice big room area here. Got a little kitchenette area here. Place for some food. Another good point. Oh, what's that, what's that? You got a toilet. Oh, look at there. Got a shower. There's even another one. Let me flip a light on in here. Another bathroom. Thank God there's nobody in here. Another shower. Washer and dryer. I'm telling you, that came in handy after we got soaking wet yesterday uh, on the boat. It's nice to come in and dry some clothes. But yeah, there's bedrooms on both sides. I won't go peeking into them. I'll show you ours though. This ours where we're at. Got a couple bunk beds. Crap all over the place. So that's kind of the tour of the place. Bo Rice, fishingwithbo.com. That's B O. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link down in the uh, description below and uh, you better look him up. Widescreen TV, catch the game. It's a nice place to relax. Make a little money on the pool table if you're any good. Check it out. We are going out on Fort Loudon today. We fished two days on Watts Bar. Did okay. Uh, good today. Going out on Fort Loudon. See what the heck we can do out here. Uh, I think we may be swinging for a big fish today. So it may be big baits, big fish. Go big or go home. Don't catch a lot. We had 20 fish yesterday, 16 the day before. So we'll see what happens. Are you ready, Captain? All right, guys, give you a little rundown real quick. We dropped in, we're on Fort Loudon. Uh, we've anchored up on a point, a pretty steep point. We got River Channel on one side. Uh, it's shallow up here where we're at and we can cast to the deep water and we can see the dam, so we're on the lower end of the lake. Uh, and there's absolutely zero current. This is as dead still as it ever gets in Tennessee. So this will be interesting. Guys, this fishing has gotten so bad that Grayson has went into a one-hour sonar tutorial on learning the different ways to navigate the sonar. I think once he learns how to read what's what on the uh, screen, he'll know how to navigate every... He knows how to get around more pages than I do now. Don't do it. That rod got popped again. That's got a huge bait on it. I'm ready to reel up. Now I'm going to sit here for a minute just to see if he takes that bait. I think it's a little bitty fish tried swimming off with that bait and it's gotten snagged. We're just waiting for it to fold over, but it just won't do it. We're hoping if we left it alone for a little bit, even if it's a small fish feeding, that a lot of times when fish start feeding, It'll kind of, I don't know, it's like there's electrical impulses that notify other fish that they're feeding and was hoping that another one may come in and like, hey pal, what are you trying to eat here? And he picks it up and folds the rod over. So we've talked ourselves into believing this is all kinds of things to make it a 40, 50 pound flathead. And I've got a bad feeling it's a little bitty channel cat. Seriously, this is a good example of uh, just how current driven 
the bite is here on this lake and uh, I think it's probably more here than you know a lot of places uh, so anyway we've sat here on this point that had some arches and it's just a beautiful place it looks very fishy and we haven't had but that one little rod move I think it was a channel cat I think it was a weak channel cat I think he was so 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 hungry he couldn't even eat oh and I just seen a rod move I just seen a little poop it's a huge bait but anyway we're gonna make a move we're gonna go somewhere try something different we've sat here for a good long while uh, it's tempting to sit a little while longer but I don't know we're just looking for a dumb one at this point so anyway I'm sad we're gonna move well guess what folks we haven't caught a fish. We haven't caught a fish. We've been at this for two hours, two and a half hours. Hadn't caught a fish. We went to another location. We're anchored up on a nice point. Some arches around us, and most of the arches are suspended, which is usually a bad sign. Usually that means inactive fish, and it obviously means they're inactive here. So, anyway. Plan is we're going to sit here five more minutes and then we're going to pull into the back of a creek and try to find some fish that aren't current oriented like these on the river channel are so that's the gamble and then after that we're going to go to drifting if the water's not on if they're not making a water release by then we're gonna go do some drifting see if there's just some laid down fish doing nothing drag some big baits swing for the fence there's no water moving at all so i don't know if that will happen today or not so uh bluebird skies no water moving no wind it's just a bad recipe for catching big fish but it's our last day that's what we're after is big fish today we've caught plenty of eater size and smaller so we're gonna try for a big one the struggle's real all right guys i didn't even turn the camera on to reel this one in but i'm just gonna show you we got the skunk out of the boat with that. Oh, what it? Feel his fins, they're short. Get up underneath it. Grab it. Turn right like that. There you, let me just put that finger on top of it. There you go. Hold it. There you go. Now you got it. Alright guys, we, we were back in the cove. We broke the skunk. At least got it out of the boat, but we ain't had no luck since. Uh, we got back out to the main channel and it's Mother's Day weekend, and there are idiots everywhere. Uh, so, we're going to tolerate it as long as we can, and hope we catch a fish. Hope I don't scream real loud, and uh, then we'll be loading it up and taking it home. Finally, finally, we are hooked up on a fish. Put that sinker before it slings and hits in the head. All right, guys, still dragging some baits here. Uh, it's a lot of boat traffic. It's uh, Mother's Day weekend, and uh, a lot of pleasure boaters out. So it's just kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, the fish we picked off are right here on the channel edge, and uh, it's just a lot of aggravation from the boat wake and everything else. So anyway, we're going to drag it a little while longer and uh call it a day we've had a pretty good weekend we caught a lot of fish except for today but we kind of went big today we uh we just didn't take into account there wouldn't be any water moving today on a sunday so uh absolutely no water moving in the lake and uh being a current driven current by you know bite driven reservoir a current driven bite is what i'm trying to say it's uh tough to get them so uh yeah we're kind of struggling we're just trying to find some dumb ones and we found a couple of dumb ones, just not any big dumb ones. So I may actually have a teeny fish on. We'll see. See what we got. See what the lake gives us. Oh Lord, yeah. mercy! Are you kidding me? That's a look at that. Another one. Another. That's a blue. That's a blue cat. 
That's probably last year's, two years hatch, last year's hatch. It's the kind of day we're having. All right, guys, the little fish bite continues. Better than nothing. All of a sudden, they're biting. That one's barely hooked. Ding. Quick release. Grayson's then made the call that, unless they're big ones, don't call him. <laughs> Catching some fish all of a sudden. Either A, I found the magic depth they're in, or B, there's just the time of day bite that's happening. Still no size, just a lot of small fish. It's right in the middle of all this boat weight too, which is kind of amazing. Lost the weight on that one. Okay, bam. Another eater. If we was keeping to eat today, we'd have plenty. All right, guys, we're gonna call it a day. It's a little after three o'clock on Mother's Day. There's a crowd out here. Uh, we ended up with seven fish. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna catch a fish for the first three hours. It was a struggle to find them, a struggle to catch them, but persistence paid off. So, you have a good time? Yeah. All right, that's cool. Uh, if you like the video, hit subscribe down in the corner. And you can stay up to date on all the videos we have coming out. And be sure to leave any comments or questions in the section below. See you soon.